A journey into the heart and soul of the Carolina Low Country will lead you to historic Charleston, South Carolina. As one of the oldest cities in America, Charleston began as a center of commerce and culture, connected to the world through its bustling harbor on the Atlantic Ocean. Charleston's customs and prosperity have long been tied to its unique coastal heritage. Our white sandy beaches, pristine marshes, freshwater swamps, and pine savannas are rich with people and wildlife. Crops and fisheries remain central to the region's quality of life. By land and by sea, Charleston welcomes millions of visitors every year. Charleston has faced many challenges over its long history, from disease to war to natural disasters. Today, when Charleston looks toward the sea, a new global challenge is rising that threatens to alter our cherished landscapes and way of life forever. Man-made pollution is increasing in our atmosphere. As a result, excess heat is trapped, warming our planet, swelling our seas. Ice sheets on land, like Greenland, are melting at alarming rates, causing sea level to rise right here in the low country. This NASA animation shows how melting land ice contributes to rising seas. Leading scientists warn of a sea level rise between two and five feet by the end of the century, possibly more and possibly sooner, depending on both man and nature. While a few feet may not sound like much, the problem is made worse because the South Carolina coast is naturally sinking. Even a one foot rise in sea level could flood land half a mile inland. Barrier islands, beaches, and wetlands would be flooded. Architecture 2030 created the following images for the Southeast Coastal Climate Network to illustrate just how vulnerable the Charleston metropolitan area is to rising seas. More than half of Sullivan's Island is submerged with five feet. This image shows Mount Pleasant with five and a half feet of sea level rise. At this level, many neighborhoods and the Ben Sawyer Bridge would be in grave danger. Filey Beach, one of the most popular tourist destinations in the area and home to the endangered loggerhead turtle nesting grounds. Here's what Folly looks like with a little less than five feet. Nearly 90% of the island, including high dollar real estate, is submerged. This image shows what James Island would look like with about five feet. Neighborhoods like Ocean View and Lighthouse Point are completely flooded. The downtown Charleston Peninsula is especially vulnerable to rising seas. Over $690 million in personal property is threatened, and so are 30 national historic landmarks dating back to the Revolutionary and Civil War eras. Since 1922, Charleston has seen a one-foot rise in sea level. Massive flooding during storms is already a major issue and is expected to worsen along with the storm surges in the future, significantly impacting the area. This is what downtown Charleston would look like with close to five feet. The following treasured places are at risk with just three feet of water or less. Joe Riley Stadium, Medical University of South Carolina. Notice that our emergency services are all underwater. The Battery, White Point Gardens, Fort Sumter, U.S. Customs House, Port of Charleston. In addition to property loss, intrusion of salt water into our wetlands and freshwater resources will lead to habitat loss and stress our drinking water supplies. There will also be irreversible impacts on commercial fishing, which brings in over $17 million every year to the state. Coastal tourism generates over $600 million each year to our economy, and as ecosystems are destroyed and beaches are lost from rising seas, local communities will bear the financial burden. The dangers of global warming are real. However, we are not consigned to this fate, but we must act now. While the threats to our homes, businesses, and communities may come from the sea, the solutions can be found right here at home. We must change the way we produce and consume energy as our careless habits are the driving force behind the global warming and sea level rise. The fastest and least expensive way to solve this global crisis is to use energy more efficiently. 
we must also turn to homegrown energy resources, reduce the pollution we create, and plan for our future responsibly. Energy efficiency means everything from driving high efficiency vehicles, recycling wasted energy in factories, to making homes more energy efficient. Heating and cooling systems alone make up to 50% of household electricity bills. Upgrading to more efficient models not only saves energy, but also money. With over 200 miles of treasured South Carolina coastline at stake, we can't continue our wasteful and polluting ways when energy efficiency is so affordable. Just miles off our coast lies one of the nation's richest energy resources, clean, reliable wind power. Together with solar energy and harvesting energy crops from abandoned farmland, South Carolina can turn to homegrown energy resources and create thousands of new jobs. Charleston must remain a safe and prosperous harbor. Our heritage and resilience are only the beginning of the solution. One of the most important and powerful things that you can do is to demand leadership from your elected officials. After all, they are listening to you. Tell them your concerns about the risk facing the low country. Tell them you expect action and ask them to support federal solutions to cut global warming pollution 80% by 2050. Ask for their leadership in creating a green economy that all of South Carolina can benefit from. Help them help us. It takes all walks of life connecting opportunity to hope to bring change.